All right, of course, you recognize the lady sitting next to me, former Miss Indiana, Katie Stam. Good to see you as Good always. Good to see you, too. We are here to talk about a, something very serious, ovarian cancer. And th the problem with it, I guess, is most people, it's not detected until it's almost in full swing. That's right. Well, I my initial uh, involvement with ovarian cancer mm -hmm. awareness happened about a year ago. And I was really unaware of the signs and symptoms. I'm thinking, oh, your annual exam as a woman would screen for right. something like ovarian cancer. That's okay. why we do it. But it doesn't. Your oh pap smear does not screen for ovarian cancer. And so the more I started finding out about the signs and symptoms are very similar to what most women experience every single month. It's just if you experience them for two or more weeks, then you need to really start to, to take notice of that. Go see a doctor, a gynecologist, oncologist. Uh, you know, there's so many different things, but that's where my initial, my initial uh, passion for this organization mm -hmm. came because I found out all of these statistics found out about these signs and symptoms and it eventually turned into me becoming a member of the board of directors for the uh, ovarian cancer awareness organization of our coming together here in Indiana and you really do have your work cut out for you because a lot of women uh, like we just discussed are yeah. not aware of what the signs and symptoms are and, and it's, exactly. it's quite invasive even if they any type of biopsy or anything I mean it's exactly it's tough on the ladies like I said there's no screening test for it right. so if you you know if you are experiencing these symptoms you need to go see a doctor and mm -hmm. it is very invasive to do the test to find out if it is ovarian cancer so it can be very scary but that's why this organization of our coming together is here mm -hmm. to really assist you in finding the right resources finding the right doctors to go to helping you ask the right questions so that you can you can find it you can help yourself and you can defeat this cancer hopefully so it's um, that's why we're working extremely hard every single day we're based right here in Indianapolis in the heart wow. of downtown and trying to just assist not only um, every woman in knowing their body better but in assisting our survivors as well it sounds like you really have to be self-aware in Absolutely. this case this is know something where you really want to pay attention to what your body's trying to tell you Absolutely. Uh, on Saturday you guys have a big event tell we do. It. Well, September is Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. So all throughout the month of September, we've been doing amazing events and promotional outreaches to the community. But especially this Saturday, we have our annual walk run event. It's going to be at City Market. Okay. Registration starts at 730 in the morning. We want everybody to come out, put a team together, <coughs> help out these amazing women uh, fighting this deadly disease. Uh, help us raise funds so that we can get more research, so that we can help these survivors put together more support groups to honor are the victims of ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. There's going to be the teal market, all kinds of things set up, lots of entertainment. And if you're not a walker, if you're not a runner, there's also a jazzercise class. Oh, fabulous. So yeah, we're going to have so much fun this Saturday, but it's all about ovarian cancer awareness. And if people want more information, where can they go? Go to ovariancancerin.org. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Good to see you. Good As always, you Katie, too. of course, we're going to put information on uh, IndieStyle.tv right after the show. Stick around because next, food for a cause. We're going into the kitchen and Michael Emerson from the CBS News show, Persons of Interest. Don't go away.